Darren McGrady now because he served as personal chef to Queen Elizabeth and her family for 15 years. And Darren, I'm sorry for your loss. This is, is personal for you. You traveled the world with the Queen and her family for more than a decade. What do you remember most about her? You know, it's an incredibly sad day. You know, I'm feeling those sort of pains in my stomach as if I lost a loved one. And I think the whole nation feels the same and everyone around the world. You know, I got to see the Queen for all those years uh, in pomp and pageantry, but also behind the scenes too, the happy, smiley faces. And I'm just thinking back today to, you know, when I first met her, um, walking the corgis along the, the river of Balmoral Castle and the corgis chasing me, me running away, the Queen just laughing out loud, you know. I, seeing her dancing with her at Balmoral and, and just seeing the happy times, you know, those, those years where I cooked breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea and dinner uh, for the most amazing lady. You call her the, the most amazing lady. Um, and, and you talk about her humor. It has been, you know, amidst the sadness and the seriousness of today, some of the stories of her humor have truly, you know, would make anyone laugh. I mean, what wonderful sense of humor she had. You know, she had access to anything she wanted, right? Anything she wanted. You saw that, of course, with, with food. You're cooking breakfast, lunch, tea, dinner, anything. And, um, but, but you say she wasn't a foodie. What was it like to, to work for her, to cook for her? Yeah, when I first started working at the palace, I thought, this is it. We're going to be having champagne and caviar and foie gras every night. But that wasn't the case. You know, the queen is very humble and... and she is quite happy just doing a state banquet where we have to have all those rich foods on the menu when she's entertaining kings, queens, presidents from around the world. I cooked for five different presidents, Reagan, Clinton, Ford, both presidents, Bush, while I was there. Uh, but um, when she was on her own, just some grilled fish, grilled chicken, and she was never happier than when she was actually eating something from her own garden, some vegetables, some vegetables that her and Princess Margaret had picked, from the cages of Balmoral Castle, that's when she was happy. Um, and you were also Princess Diana's former personal chef for several years until her tragic death. I know you had many moments with her. You know, you held infant Prince Harry uh, while Diana ate cereal <laughs> in the in the kitchen. Um, what was that like? How was working for her? And and I know, of course, it would have been quite different from working with the Queen. Yeah, it did cross my mind today, you know, when I'm seeing all of these photographs of the flowers building up outside Windsor Castle, Buckingham Palace, you know, I was the princess right up until the day of the car accident. I had the food with me, waiting for her to return the next day and uh, seeing outside the front of Kensington Palace uh, 25 years ago, those flowers building up and the people out there all through the night. Uh, this, this is just memories of Two people that, you know, created a difference in the world and, and touched so many people. Absolutely. Well, I, I appreciate your taking the time and sharing uh, your, your experience. Uh, so, so unique, such a window into somebody. Thank you, Darren. Thank you.